this story with me. He says that someone authorized his blood to be drawn. They took way too much blood. He was left dizzy afterward. I don't like the way he didn't do Stanley right there. It's like you didn't give Stanley the proper. Okay, Stanley. No, you're right. Go ahead. Stanley, Stanley, the architect of Marvel Comics. Yes. And the brain behind yes. so many of the characters that we love. One of the most yes. important Avengers. figures of pop culture. Spider Man. Hulk. All of Fantastic Four. Black Panther. All of that stuff. Excellent. Man. X-Men. X-Men. Now, see, Charles is excited. All right. All right. Now. Yes, that guy. <laughs> that's the guy, in case you didn't know, uh, who is the victim in this bizarre incident. It says that someone drew Very blood from him scary. that uh, he did not want, did not authorize. Um, and he thinks that, the, he thought that the blood would possibly be used for, in comic books. And this sounds strange, but it is a real thing. And now we have found evidence in Las Vegas that proves he may have been right. Wow. That that's exactly what happened. That someone is using his blood and you and putting it in comic books. And it's right on the Vegas Strip. There's a, uh, a Marvel store there, Charles, and we've gotten photos from inside it where they're selling these Black Panther comic books. And what it is, it comes with a certificate of authentic authentication, mm -hmm. uh, which says that it stands DNA stamped as a signature on the cover there. There's we've we've seen blue ink and we've seen gold ink. Blues for about two hundred fifty bucks. Gold sells for five hundred dollars, and this is just one of who knows how many they. So buy. they are claiming that you, you buy the obviously it would increase the value of the Black Panther comic, All right. and it has a stamp with his signature, and that they. I mean, does it say, like, what else, what else, when they say DNA solvent, what else could it be? I mean, it could be hair or whatever, or whatever, but it's obviously the blood. And what I don't understand is... And you should say the timing of it, Brad, when that, when the blood was drawn from him, that was back in That October, was back right? in October, and his team has just kind of recently learned about this because they're gearing up for some sort of legal action against his business associate, and they've kind of figured out everything he's done in the past few months, and that was something that's been raised. Right, so if the blood goes missing, they're selling comics with his DNA on it. It, it, it seems very the, you put two and two together. Right. I'm actually familiar with uh, this particular book and other books sort of in that series. They don't typically come with this. I wonder if the Have people at Marvel yet. Yeah. Well, it, I, I had never seen it, but uh, Eric in the back, a guy who you know, mm -hmm. knows There's a lot tremendous of amount of comic books, uh, had said that it happened before. Uh, is this coming from Marvel? Is Marvel doing this? Or is, it, is this something that would come from the actual retail store where they would do something like this? They're selling it through the store, but it's done by this former business associate who runs a quote-unquote charity that he has linked. So I, I don't think that they have to be necessarily uh, uh, like Marvel approved, Marvel approved, approved or anything like products, that. But, but I, would, I wonder how that works, because there's no way that the people have done that. that is just, I mean, yeah. it's, it's like a vampire thing. It's, it's, it's like your blood weird. using it for... Like, like, it would be like buying a basketball. Hey, with Kobe Bryant's hair. It would be like, like, like yes, we, we've woven Kobe Bryant it's hair. In you know how weird that would be? It's weird. Hey y'all, it's Keisha Kane calling from Boston to give my take on the Stan Lee. I cannot believe that someone would actually take someone's blood and try to sell it. And who wants to buy a magazine that's got his blood on it? Sure. In writing or anywhere. Like that's like having somebody's skin and putting it somewhere on the artwork. It's like trying to just like put it in there. Who does that? Like he needs to go to jail, they need to like do something about this. How can Marvel even allow this? They have to put a stop to this. It's out say that Marvel isn't allowing <laughs> Know that they're if they're aware of it going yeah. on, so so your hair looks great today too. I just want to tell you that. <laughs> Flip that. Flip it on these suckers all day long, so so you look great. Uh, okay, uh, we're.